Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and indeed, another one does bite the dust. First, it was Joe Girardi from the Phillies. Now, it's Joe Madden from the Angels. If you are named Joe and your team is red, look the f*** out. But Joe Madden has been let go after an extraordinary start. Angels were kicking ass and taking names. I was even getting emails like, bro, you had the Angels finishing fourth. What do you think now, mother effer? And I'd be like, well, let's just give it some time, see what happens. And what happened is a 12-game losing streak. It's not looking good for the Angels right now. And the Angels have relieved Joe Madden of his duties as manager. Phil Nevin, if you all Giants fans might remember Phil Nevin, uh, he has been the third base coach. He is now going to be interim manager. The move comes amid a 12-game losing streak that has dropped the Angels to under 500. They were 24 and 13. Now, is this all Joe Madden's fault? I mean, of course not. That's not really how baseball works. But these front offices do not mess around. They will blame the manager. If you can't get it done, you are the manager, even though it might be their fault. They're the ones that put the team together, right? But Angels GM and Phil Nevin are going to hold a press conference to uh, discuss this decision Tuesday. That would be today at 6.15 Eastern, 3.15 Pacific. That will be in three minutes from now. So by the time this video uploads. But the Angels have relieved Joe Madden of his duties. He was in the last year of his contract with his 34th year. Last year of his contract. I'm, I'm kind of surprised at this. I mean, with the start that they had, don't you let them see if they can get out of the funk before you fire him? Don't you let him win a game at first and just see? Um, but Angels aren't playing around. It's not like I think Phil Nevin's going to step in and turn his team around. But this is what is done. Same thing with Joe Girardi. They don't even find someone else. They just Next man up, interim manager, let's just keep going. And uh, Joe Madden, I'm sure, will find another job somewhere. I'm sure some Giants fans that were, that were mentioning to me, like, Girardi? Now it's probably, what about Madden? Let's just be honest. Their uh, uh, Giants manager ain't going nowhere, so don't worry about that. Kapler ain't going nowhere no time soon, at least not this year in my opinion. But obviously these guys are managers. They know what they're doing. Um, we have done tried it before. The Giants have gotten, by the way, an experienced manager before, and it was Bruce Bochy, and I wasn't thrilled at that. And then I turned out to be completely wrong because Bruce Bochy is one of the greatest managers in Giants history. So you never know. Maybe grabbing one of these guys, hey, you never know. I'm not saying no to that. I'm just saying I don't think it's going to happen, so I'm not really thinking about it too much. But anyway, Joe Madden hired him back in October 2019. Like I said, he didn't get a whole big, huge opportunity. He got 2020, shortened season, 2021, and... That's it. That was it. He had two opportunities. And this year, even after that great start, if you'd have told me two weeks ago Joe Madden was going to get fired in June, I said, yeah, I don't think so. That's just stupid. What do you think? They're going to lose 12 in a row? <laughs> Stop it. Yes. This team, this front office expects wins. When you have Mike Trout, when you have Anthony Rendon, and you have Shohei Otani, obviously the best two-way player in the game. One of the only two-way players in the game, Shohei Otani, is an absolute stud. They've really tried to improve their rotation by adding Noah Syndergaard. Got Patrick Sandoval. He's doing great this year. Obviously, a decent bullpen. A, a lot of big names in this lineup. A lot of big names throughout this team. Rysel Iglesias was brought back to be the closer. And this is just a team that expects to play well and make the playoffs. I think it's a little bit of an overreaction, in my opinion. But I understand the Angels front office is just not going to be patient. But, you know, losing streaks happen. Even a 12-game losing streak can happen. You just have to, you know, get through it and, and try to turn it around. I mean, I don't know. But we'll see what Phil Nevin can do. Like I said, former Giants coach. Um, as I recall, he wasn't a great third base coach. He's been the third base coach. But, uh, yeah, we'll see, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, this is crazy. You know, managers are just, uh, you know, yeah, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the Giants, if the if they struggle enough, maybe they kick Kaplan to the curb at some point. Now, not the Giants. The Giants are doing okay. They've kind of been up and down this year. Like, I haven't really figured this team out yet, but certainly not a 12-game losing streak. But that's just a crazy move. I mean, Joe Madden, you know, former World Series champion, uh, championship manager with the Chicago Cubs. Obviously, a huge part of that Tampa Bay Devil Rays and Tampa Bay Rays team for so many years. And uh, Joe Madden's just a legend, man. And uh, this is really shocking that they didn't give him a little more time, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Smash the like button. I really appreciate all your support. You guys are amazing. D Porter, your support is just insane. You are amazing. And thank you so much, Sitherex, for subscribing. Yogi Dude, you are the man. I really appreciate you. Muchas gracias a todos. And we'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. <laughs>
straight to the hole I got no chance of ever making my 